So uh, going back to problem 24, we did part A. Uh, is it in statistical uh, control or not? And it was in a statistical control. So now we go to part B. If it's capable of meeting the design standard of four uh, sigma quality, right? So for that, uh, we're going to calculate the, the capability ratio and the capability index. You have the formulas and everything we need right here so we have standard deviation we have x double bar what are the specification limits so again this is a problem that i want you guys to pause it and, and try to do by yourself first and then after you do the math come back and see how i solve it so specification limits are here the 12 plus or minus 0 0.1 uh, ounce here so don't don't mess up uh, specification with control limits. So control limits we calculated on the uh, other uh, the, uh, previously when we work on this problem was the uh, that formula for the upper and lower control limits. Now we're talking about specification limits. So upper specification limit is going to be 12 plus 0 0.1 which is 12.1 and lower specification limit is 12 minus 0 0.1, which is 11.9. So these are given by the customer, okay? Different than the control limits, the control limits are the ones that uh, we need to calculate based on the variation to see if it is, uh, if it is under control or not, uh, if there is special cause variation occurring or not. These are specification limits. So the customer is saying, okay, from 11.9 to 12.1, I'm gonna accept. So I'm gonna accept this area here. Everything that's here, I'm not gonna accept. So I'm not gonna accept. Okay. That's what we're saying. And we need to know where our distribution is. It is here, it is here, it is here, right? Uh, so these are specification limits. So let's calculate uh, CP first. So the ratio is upper specification, so 12.1 minus lower specification, divided by six times our standard deviation, which is 0.0. .0 five six six seven and that gives us zero point five eight eight two if you guys remember from when we saw about how to interpret the results uh, have to be one to be exactly a three sigma level because you're dividing by three times uh, six times the standard deviation so three one side and three the other side it have to be uh, 1.33 to be or higher to be a four sigma level, right? And ours is not even uh, one, so it's not capable of producing a four sigma level. But just for fun, we're going to calculate CPK as well. So that's the minimum of the X double bar, which is the 12.0095. Minus the lower specification, so 11.9 divided by three times. So here we're dividing, remember, three one side and three the other side, times the standard deviation. And we also have the upper minus dx double bar divided by three times. So this 0. Oops, 0. Five, six, six, seven. That's a zero. And we got zero point six four four and zero point five three two. So the question is, is it mean center or not? So the minimum value is zero point five three two. That's the CPK, right? Uh, is it mean center? Yes or no? No, it is not because that's, those numbers are different than each other, right? So the the distance between X bar and lower 
is higher than the distance between x bar and upper. And you can see that because to be mean center, the x double bar had to be 12. And it's not 12, it's 12.0095. So it is more towards the right, the mean, than it's supposed to be, right? That's why this distance is higher than uh, uh, this distance here. So it's it's the location is higher than it's supposed to be. Okay, and you can see by this mean. So this is the process, so not capable. Uh, so, and it's not mean center, and the standard deviation is uh, too high. And that kind of concludes this problem.